All right, so the past 10 hours or so of operating this Bobcat, the right side drive has been getting weaker and, and weaker. And now it's finally at the point where the thing really isn't usable because the, you know, if you go to turn to the right or go up a hill or even get a scoop, the one drive motor just whines and, and barely won't even move. So I brought it here to fix it. So let me, uh, I'll jump in it quick and show you what it's like trying to operate it and show you the symptoms of a bad drive motor. All right, we're in the Bobcat here. fine so you go forward reverse and it sounds good all right so the right side is just see it barely moves Just because there's, I mean, once it gets hot, it gets even worse. And the one side, it, it just won't even move. And then that red light comes on, the hydraulic light, and beeps, and sometimes it even shuts off the motor. All right, so let's uh, take it apart and fix it. All right, before I jump into that, I want to fix my dump truck quick. This, uh, this piece here just ripped right off of it. It's been kind of going bad for a while, but let me fix that up. All right, I'm going to cut off everything that's bad. All right, I just finished up fixing that, so that turned out pretty well. All right, so I forgot I made this video fixing this thing. It's been a few weeks, been working fine. Here, I'll show you. All right, so let's get started here. I'm gonna make this kind of like a how-to video. 
even though I have never done this job before and I don't really know what I'm doing. But uh, let's figure it out. All right, so first we're gonna let the tension off the track. That's uh, this back bolt right here under this cover. And you see the track loosening up. There's a 3 8 bolt. Now let's get this sprocket off here. So you use these holes to push it off. All right, now the sprocket can come off, so these are half-inch coarse thread bolts. All right, so now I'm gonna take these bolts out. Now I have the feeling, I mean, I'd love to just leave this track here, but I have the feeling that this track has to come off and this thing here, this is a cover, I think that has to come off too. Like, that's probably how you unhook the hoses from this, but let's, let's just see what happens first. These have nuts on the back. You know, I'm gonna take I'm just gonna take this track off.
that's how. All right, I just cleaned all this, blew all the dust out of it. All right, so the guy that's doing rebuilding this motor said capture some of the fluid because he wants to look at it because he was concerned that when the motor went bad, parts of it would get into the pump and damage it. But I don't think that's the case. The fluid looks perfectly clean, plus it has the filter, and, um, and the other side was working fine too. I got a few here that won't come out with the impact. So uh, what you do is you take one roan wrench and take the other one, hook it like that, and then you have a lot of leverage. And you stand on it. Nope, they're gonna bend. All right, hang on. All right, so I got this with a pipe. thing looks like it's going to be heavy.
All right, so this is what a drive motor looks like out of a Bobcat 864. So I had called Bobcat about this for parts, and um, they said that this machine had four different drive motors in it, so they couldn't tell me which one it was unless I gave them some number off of this. And they said it's at least $4,000, so th that's, that price is crazy. But... Um, so this is the motor section here. This section is just, there's probably just a planetary gear set in here. Um, now I'm kind of tempted to try rebuilding this myself. I'm not sure. I mean, everyone's telling me not to just bring it to a hydraulic place. That's usually what I do. And, um, you know, usually they're not crazy expensive. I mean, the last few times I've done it, like the labor has been about the same as the parts, so. I don't know. I, guess, I don't know what I'm doing at this point, but I'll f I, guess I'll f I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to try to rebuild this thing. Um, just, just a heads up, I have never taken one of these apart and I have no idea how to do it. And everyone I talked to said something different. Some people said don't touch it, some people said go for it. So let's see what happens. You know, this wrench, this thing's usually very powerful. I'm surprised these are that tight. It doesn't want to come apart. You know, I'm just going to bring this to someone because um, it may be worth it in the long run anyway because someone who's done this job dozens or hundreds of times and has all the special tools, it, it, it's probably just better off having that person do it. All right, so I just got the drive motor back. So this took a long time. This machine's been sitting like this for months. The problem was, first the drive motor sat around for a while. I was thinking about trying to rebuild it myself. Then I finally sent it out to a rebuild shop to have them do it after I couldn't get it apart. Then... 
I didn't hear anything for like months. Finally, I start calling him, calling him. He's like, oh, well, since the ID tag was missing off the motor, we can't figure out what it is and where to get parts for it. So then I started doing some more research and, you know, got the part diagrams to him. But pretty much the parts weren't available from Bobcat. So what we ended up doing was just getting a rebuilt one and you send that one in as a core. So obviously the rebuild place can somehow get the parts. I don't know. So that's what I should have done from the beginning. There's plenty of places on eBay that just sell these rebuilt you send your old one in. They send you a rebuilt motor and then they rebuild yours. So that's what I should have done right from the beginning. So, um, oh well, so let's uh, get this thing installed. You know, that impact makes these pretty tight, but just want to go a little bit tighter for these.
All right, I remember this thing being like a Rubik's Cube getting it out of here, so. Well, that was a lot easier than I had getting it out. So close. These are the holes you use for pushing this sprocket off of that drive motor. Um, these bolts were really stuck in there. They may have been metric or something, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to run a tap through them quick while it's off. That way, if this ever has to come off again, they'll, uh, the bolts will thread in there easy. All right, so here's a new bolt. See that thread's right in there like nothing. So that was definitely worth doing. That's what that tool looks like there. They come in a set. Don't buy a cheap set, the cheap ones are garbage. This is a Craftsman, it works fine.
All right, I gotta get this chain out of here. See, it's gonna hit that sprocket. If I just start it up and back it up a little bit, that should come right out. All right, well, that's all done. Um, that job wasn't bad at all. That was kind of fun. So let's uh, take it outside and test it out. All right, the other thing that was recommended to be done is change the case drain filter. I think that's that thing down in there. This, uh, I just got this cap set. This, this line here had fluid running out of it the whole time. It was annoying. So I put a plug in it. That's nice. All right, this is what they sent me here. Oh, it looks the same, other than a new one being messed up. back in there all right I can see in the sight glass it's the levels where it's supposed to be that took probably three gallons all right, now let's go test this thing.
Alright, so that's definitely working pretty well now, so that's good. And by working well, the things you'd be looking at are, you know, it's got power, it's not leaking, it goes the same speed as the other side. You know, that's all the important stuff. The one little thing I did notice, it did make a little bit of a whining sound sometimes under load, where the other side didn't do that, so I'm going to drop worried about that, but it should be alright. I mean, it's got a one-year warranty on that motor, so, you know, but it's working good, so that's the important part. You know, but the real test is to bring it out on a bunch of jobs where it's got actual hours on it. I mean, I probably put, you know, a short hour on it just now digging in the dirt. But, you know, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And it's nice and smooth. It doesn't stop or anything. So, all right. So, I'm sure people are going to ask how much that cost. That part was $2,226. So uh, that's a lot cheaper than Bobcat, who were saying it was in the $4,000 range. Alright, so, um, and as far as hours on the machine. Alright, so it's got, well, that many. 2,343. So I'll definitely remember that. So I know in case there's ever a problem with it, how long... It lasted, or in your, or a lot of other people's case, you know, the drive motor went bad in that short amount of time. So you know, that's a little frustrating. You know, that's I really wouldn't consider that that many hours. I mean, some of my other machines are in the seven thousand hour range, and I haven't had to really do stuff like that to them. So you know, I'm not. This isn't really my favorite brand of machinery. Um, you know, a few people. One of my friends who works at a uh, rental place is swearing by Takahuchi skid steers he says they rent them out you know all the time and they don't come back broken he says the you know that's the important thing they don't they're powerful he says and they don't come back broken you know like this machine here i have no idea how many hours are on that but i'm sure it's well over 2000 and um i really haven't had to do many repairs to this thing either that thing's been really solid Alright, so um, this is going to be a separate video, but my wheeled bobcat, the valve body, or the spool valve, the thing that controls the hydraulics for the, the auxiliaries, like the bucket and the pedal, the pedals, one of them seized up. So here's that part there. Um, I'm going to send this in to have that rebuilt. So hopefully that gets fixed too. Getting that out of there was a pretty frustrating job. I would definitely rather change that drive motor and that track machine than then pull this in and out. Alright, well, it's good to have this back. So uh, I'll be sure to make some videos operating this machine sometime soon.